Welcome back to the Unusable Podcast. What are we talking about today, David? <laughs> it feels like a shopping channel. Oh no, oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to show you some showers recreated as web interfaces. Right? <laughs> showers recreated as web interfaces. Exciting. Uh, okay. okay. I feel like I need an example. Okay. So, you know, we did a video about shower interfaces and how confusing they could be. Do you remember, do you remember yeah. this picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. This was uh, by Ellis Rosen, retweeted. Oh, so it was retweeted by Jared Spall. That's how I saw it. So, essentially showing that showers have an interface. Yeah. We make websites. Yeah. I thought I would recreate a shower, <laughs> a shower interface as a web interface, right? You've done this. Okay, you've done this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done this. Okay. So we so we did a video about these showers before. So I took a photo of this shower when I was on holiday one time. Yeah. It's got a sort of spinny slider thing for the temperature. Yeah. And it's got a, a start start button. So I thought the web interface would look like this. A range slider. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with a checkbox for start and stop. And then it also has a boost. Okay. Right. Okay. See, this is not so insane anyway, is it? This is this is how I see the world. I see every interface as a sort of web interface and how I would recreate it in HTML. Okay, okay. And the whole world is HTML. And the whole world is HTML to me, okay. yeah. I just want to like view source and inspect. That should be like the name of your book or something. The whole world is HTML. I haven't got a book. Well, write one. Ah. Right, oh, uh, and then I'm going to show you um, a shower from a computer game as well later on. Oh, this is getting even more meta. <laughs> Hold on, this is getting even more meta. Like, so, so, <laughs> we're trying to imagine showers which don't have a web interface have a web interface, and then we're going one step further and imagining showers from a game. God, okay, right. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah. I recognise this. So this is my shower at home. So this has a slider. Again, I've used the HTML range slider mm. uh, for pressure. And also for temperature. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's, so when, that's pressure, all it has. when pressure is zero, it's off. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then there's but this... the nice thing about that one, by the way, just compared to my shower, because I've in between us recording the last shower video and this one, yeah. I've moved house and I have a new shower. Okay. The nice thing about this is that you can turn the pressure up and down and turn it on and off, and the temperature can stay exactly where it is. So if you get the temperature to the exact spot you like you just leave it you don't touch that wheel whereas my new shower has a combined single control that does pressure and temperature so, so you in, have to set the temperature so in every the, single time in the process of turning it on it's inevitable that you move the temperature so then you have to kind of really find and and the window it, its range of movement is it's like a a, a a lever that moves in that range of movement right yeah but the 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 range between like it's like cold 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 okay for like the tiniest sliver and then scolding for the rest so like so like you know if you to say the whole range is like a hundred percent like sixty percent is maybe freezing cold then like thirty five percent is scolding and the five percent in the middle is the window with which you've got to try and right get it just right it's a nightmare and then you have to do that every time you turn it on and off oh that's really annoying. Um, anyway, yeah, carry on. Okay, next one. Uh, so this this shower, this is a very common type of shower. Um, so it has radio <laughs> buttons for the power select. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. So the power yeah. is stop, mm. cold, eco or high. I mean, I'm not making it this up. This is what the shower actually does. I know, yeah. So the power I just, is set to cold. Because it, <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? Because it almost makes... The real interface look ridiculous. Like it, it, it. I haven't changed it or anything. I haven't made this worse or no, weird. No, I'm but, just but when you, recreating it. But when you do it as a web interface, it suddenly makes no sense, and you think, <laughs> "Well, that's just stupid, isn't it?" Well, like, what's, what what do you think makes no sense about this? That those radio buttons are selecting more than one dimension, aren't they? Like there's no way that you would have that as a single radio button because it's simultaneously, depending on which you choose, turning it on and off, and changing the temperature. And whether it's economical or not, yeah, like, it feels like those. Like if you're doing that as a web interface, you would break it out, right? You'd have stop and start. Yeah. Then do you want cold or hot? Yeah. Then do you want economical mode or not? Yeah. Like you wouldn't combine that into a single set of radio buttons. Would yeah. You? I don't think that cold is a type of power, <laughs> <laughs> but it yeah, is lumped yeah, in yeah, with yeah. with uh, stop, eco, and high. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've already got a temperature slider. 
yeah. for, uh, for for the temperature. So you would just slide that down to cold, wouldn't you? Is that you? a hair on your shower picture? Yeah, don't worry about that. Oh, just... <laughs> right. Okay, and, th- and this one, so... <laughs> <laughs> It's quite, it's unknown what all these things do. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not entirely sure. You can check each one. Yeah. And then, you know, you might get sprayed in the face or whatever. Um, but yeah. But would they, but they look like rotary controls. Oh, that's a good that point. Have a range. So they're not, I don't know if you. So they're not checkboxes. They should be range yeah. sliders. Your choice of checkboxes is possibly wrong there. But I like, yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> might be right. Unknown, unknown, unknown is. Well, because it's not clear, is it? No. <laughs> No. Oh, uh, right. So I said that I was going to show you a shower from a computer game. Mm-hmm. This is from the computer game Death Stranding. Right, I'll show you a clip. Sam. Sam, can you hear me? So this is a character from Death Stranding who goes into a shower at a part point of the game and the shower has two controls hot and cold as little toggle switches okay so imagine if that was your shower <laughs> i've recreated this as a checkbox you either have hot or you have cold but obviously you can do both at the same time so what does that do or neither i don't know you either have fully hot fully cold or, or full, half of each. Full. Well, it's full hot and full cold, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no pressure. Yeah. There's no way to actually change the the temperature. You either have hot or cold. Yeah. Um, so what, how would so my question is so my new shower that I mentioned a minute ago. Yeah. Which is it's one control and you pull it in and out to make to control the pressure. In and out. Well, it's it's a single lever that moves in two axes, right? Oh, so, I see. So it rotates to control the temperature. Yeah. And then you pull it towards you and it levers it up and that yeah. controls the pressure. Yeah, okay. So you can you could move it all the way cold and then pull it out for maximum pressure or you could turn it all the way hot and like pull it out for half half pressure. Now the problem I, in, I find in reality is that because you have to pull it in and out to turn it on and off, yeah. you inevitably move the temperature a little bit. Right. So, so you can never leave it in the, the, the temperature you want. But how would you model that on the web? A single control that has two axes. Yeah, I don't know how you would. The only way I can you think... Want, you want to see like a 2D slider where you can like kind of drag a point to a point on a 2D graph. I'm thinking of like how you sometimes have a uh, a colour picker. So it's a, it's a square. Yeah. And you can move in two different dimensions. You know, but, you, you can choose the, the colour like red, but then you can also choose the darkness But the important the part is that much like in that case, if you wanted to say move it down a few points of darkness you're inevitably going to probably slightly shift the amount of saturation as well aren't you yeah uh so much in the same way yeah i can't turn my shower on and off without also affecting the temperature in in a way that i didn't want to yeah yeah okay yeah you would you would hate this game by the way death stranding okay you actually there's parts of it that you that i'm sure you'd quite like because yeah. you you're this guy who has to go around delivering parcels to people around in this uh like post-apocalyptic world and some parts of it you get to drive a van so it's kind of like a, a sort of post-apocalyptic postman pat <laughs> <laughs> except that you can't drive any more than a few meters before you're hitting like a giant boulder so the whole thing is just incredibly frustrating yeah i can't i can't even i can't even imagine that but post-apocalyptic postman pat is yeah there's also ghosts oh, okay. don't worry about it i think well, you'd hate that yeah probably You know, we mentioned in a previous video uh, uh, mm. that some T-shirts for geeks are like far too obvious. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then we showed a picture of we showed a picture of this T-shirt that says, "Have you tried turning it off and on again?" Yeah. Well, that's, that's I, IT Crowd, right? That's yeah. That's a reference to. Well, I mean, that existed as a phase before. Yeah. Okay. And doesn't it? Anyway, uh, and, and I said it's so obvious as a joke. It's the sort of thing that your mum would buy you. Yeah. yeah. Right. So my mum bought me this T-shirt. <laughs> After we did the last video, yeah, and she never even saw the video. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you like it? It's fine. 
Pac-Man. <laughs> So, if by some miracle you enjoyed that video, and why wouldn't you, um, there's plenty more. Have a look on our channel. We also do a podcast, so check that out wherever you get your podcasts. We've also got some merch available on our website, which is podcast.theunusable.com. Music is by Gold5472. You can email us at podcast at theunusable.com. And we're on Twitter at unusablepodcast. What are you up to? I'm just <laughs> typing. <laughs> Right, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.